of Solana, symbol SOL, versus the dollar on Binance. This one being requested by Mr. Farsh M of our lovely community. He's looking at a four hour in daily. I do want to focus on the five day just because we did close that one last night. Very fucking good. Closing on the ultimate highs is usually not, you know, a bad sign. Uh, let's go down to the daily now, see where we're at on the short term or the shorter term. And what do you know? It looks like we did put in a bit of a higher low, or it looks like it's trying to put in a bit of a higher low as we did uh, discuss yesterday. And I'd be looking at this as a bit of a pivot now for the daily specifically, meaning that as long as Solana is closing daily dildos above more like 70 and a half bucks, I do look for this to trade a bit, bit sideways and up from this region. Now, if Solana does start to lose that region, I would look for a pullback, a decent size pullback down to about 58 to $59 and try for a bounce there. But short term timeframes should get the consolidation. And what do you know? We do see hidden bullish divergence on four hour RSI and we do see volatility starting to expand from a very, very low, low territory right there. Four hour jewel also with upside posturing. And this is essentially trend continuation. You're pretty much around your prior time high already. So what are we looking at right here? It is essentially a uh, it's, it's, it's essentially a, a, a recumulation formation in the format of an ascending triangle, which we could make a measure move on. And if you do start to break above or close above on a four hour more specifically above 80 bucks, I would look for a trend continuation somewhere around about 90 bucks. And I believe that we did speak about long term targets yesterday to basically 100 bucks and probably beyond. And I suppose that does start to line up with our two spot extension right here. This is usually not a big one. The big ones are around uh, the 272 and the 2414 in this case. And that's at about buck 10 to buck 20. Uh, that would obviously be more long term, not happening today or tomorrow, probably even this month, but maybe into September. And then if we do go check out actually over here, I'm curious what it's looking like from a troll under band perspective and daily yeah a very very lovely consolidation above all major movement averages right there uh five day it's trending above the top side troll demand so as long as this condition is met which yesterday it did confirm this condition yes yet again i do look for well new all-time highs first before any sort of a major pullback um i know this sounds fucking crazy but uh Let's say let's say the full hour, which actually has seen four hour MACD cross up or like right now too. Uh, let's say the full hour. Okay, so so where's an invalidation point on this? More importantly, below sixty nine and a quarter. Below sixty nine and a quarter, I would look for this one to retest down around about fifty eight and a half to fifty nine bucks, um, and I'd be looking for a bounce around there. So that would invalidate uh, this current this current consolidation. But thus far, this is looking pretty damn good. Buy daily, decent close as well. Um, you know, I, I I do look at this as more likely to take another look up first before playing out a bit of a pull back things are getting pretty damn extended now no doubt about that so i would be on the lookout for anything like that but um but for right now as you know as 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 long as this level does hold i'd be looking for this to be resolved to the upside as it does have statistically a more uh or sorry a higher probability to be resolved to the upside in the sending triangle that is a reaccumulation formation and hopefully that was helpful sir there you go